Uncover the where is wonders. Ace your English directions. Hello, dear learners. We're here to conquer a very vital part of everyday English, asking for directions. Today, we'll specifically zoom in on how to ask, where is, questions. With these skills, you'll be able to navigate through English-speaking cities like a pro. Let's get started. Where is questions are used when you want to know the location of something or someone. The question structure is simple. Where is, plus noun or pronoun. Examples. Where is the bathroom? Where is John? Remember, when asking these questions, your tone should rise at the end to indicate that you're asking a question. Answering, where is questions is equally straightforward. Typically, you'll start with, it's, or, he's, she's, and then describe the location. Examples. It's on the second floor. He's in the kitchen. In your responses, make sure to include enough detail to guide the person to the location. Now, let's get some practice. The best way to master language skills is by practicing. Practice exercise one. Imagine you're in a library. I ask you, where is the fiction section? Try to form a suitable response. Practice exercise two. You're in a supermarket, and I ask, where is the dairy aisle? Come up with an appropriate answer. Practice exercise three. We're in a restaurant. I ask, where is the restroom? Think about how you direct me there. Practice exercise four. You're at a friend's house. I ask, where is John? Consider how you'd respond. Make sure to pause the video and take your time to think about the responses. While using, where is questions, make sure you don't mix it up with, what is. What is is used when asking about the definition or explanation of something, not its location. So, remember, where is, is for locations. What is, is for definitions. Also, always remember to raise your tone at the end of the question. It helps signal that you're asking a question. That's it for today's lesson, folks. Hopefully, you found it useful, and you're now more comfortable with, where is questions. Practice makes perfect, so keep rehearsing these structures and soon you'll be asking for and giving directions like a native speaker. Happy learning and see you in our next video.